Hello YouTube, this is Andy. Uh, this is my new Andy Fix Everything channel. Um, I'm just a normal guy who has stuff that breaks around the house all the time and it needs to be fixed. Today we're gonna go over how to fix a leaking kitchen sink. So when I turn my kitchen sink on, this is what it does. water starting to come out right here okay so last night what I did was I took apart the sink and I looked at it and cleaned it and the uh, o-rings didn't look too bad these little these little guys here this is a replacement cartridge for that sink so um, last night I just looked at everything cleaned it up um, put some Teflon tape on the threads, put it back together, and it wasn't leaking. Then I come to it this morning, it's leaking again. So I went up to Lowe's. I know I have a Kohler uh, kitchen sink faucet. I got the re replacement cartridge for it. This should solve the problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it apart now, replace it, see if it's leaking or not. So the first thing you do here is you pop off this little piece right there. That's gonna gain you access to the Allen key right here, which will allow you to pop the handle off, okay? Lefty loosey, righty tighty, pops right off, okay? And I'm gonna keep the, uh, I'm gonna keep the screw in there, okay, so I don't lose it. I'll put that to the side. If I go underneath the sink down here, there's some water shutoff valves down there. There's one right here. So I'll go ahead and turn that off real quick. Okay, there's two. There's a hot and a cold. Sorry if, that, if that's difficult to see, but you should be able to get the point. You see the water shutoffs right there. You turn them clockwise, turn the water off. If you don't, you'll have water going everywhere. So now when you go like this, no water should come out. I kind of hit things, make sure there's no pressure on it. And then we're gonna keep going. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is take a washcloth or some sort of towel this right here is a plastic nut and it's uh you know chrome finished so you could scratch it so essentially you cover it up get this out of the way put this on top and just squeeze it gently until it starts coming off Let's see, this is coming off. So now you can get it by hand. That's the first piece of the puzzle. We'll go ahead and take that off, put that to the side. Now, if you notice, these two pieces come off right here, okay? So these are not a part of the repair or the replacement cartridge. So you wanna keep those to the side, okay? Now you use your big crescent wrench right here. Again, lefty, loosey, right, tidy. Loosen it up. Okay. And this is going to allow that cartridge to come on out. Okay. Once you have that out, I'm going to take the Teflon tape that I put on last night off. And I'm going to put some new stuff on today. So you take this off, and you clean it real good. Cleaned it up pretty good. So here's the old cartridge that comes right out, okay? And this is what it looks like down inside, okay? It's 
nice and clean. You know, I don't see anything real obvious here. But if you're looking on the back here, I think the O-rings are a little worn right there, possibly. And there might be some internal components that are worn too. This faucet's only about three and a half years old. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side. Get out the other one. Okay, took a little bit of work, but make sure you line up the bottom O-rings, how it's supposed to go here. So you got the big one up top, so you can put the big one up top and it's got the two guide holes as well. So I went ahead, put that in there. Feels nice and snug, just like it should. Okay, then you're gonna go back to your little nut here that goes over the top. Go ahead and stick it on here. Look at that, it's not coming off when I'm tightening it. Everything's going as it should. Tighten it real good there. Then I'll go ahead and I'll get the wrench once it's hand tight and I'll continue to tighten it by hand. It's a little bit more snug now because I have the Teflon tape on. That's how it should be. You probably hear my daughter in the background. I have a one-year-old daughter and an eight-year-old son. So like I said, just like you, I got stuff that breaks around the house and it needs to be fixed. If you called a plumber to do this, it would, it would cost a little bit of money because their knowledge is worth their amount of pay per hour. So that's pretty nice and snug right there, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and put this back on. This is a locking cap and it, it allows the the faucet to swivel back and forth and turn from hot to cold, okay? Now that you have that on, we're gonna go ahead and put this on right here. This is our final retainer right there. Makes everything look real nice when you have it buttoned up. Hand tighten this thing. I don't honestly think it needs to be tighter than hand tight. There's no point in it. Once you get that back on, you take your little your handle here. Okay, and lift it up so you can see it good. Now we're gonna turn the water back on down here. I got a little flashlight so you can see it a little bit better this time. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Okay, they're both back on. Okay, let's give it a test and see how it works. And we still have water leaking there. Saw after I turned the faucet back on, it was still leaking. So I looked at the directions on the replacement valve kit, and it says that if you're still having um, leakage at the faucet body, you may also require an O ring kit. Um, the kit number is GP30420. So looks like I'm going back to Lowe's and getting an O ring kit. Stay tuned. All right, I made it back from Lowe's with the other O-ring kit that it said if your faucet's still leaking, to use this. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this back apart and replace this kit. And when I get there, uh, we'll see if it leaks. Okay, now that I have it apart, um, same parts we did yesterday, we're gonna pull up right here. And if you look right here, we got gaskets. O-rings, we got all the good stuff. Plastic piece right here, it's not broke, that's just how it is. So let's just do one thing at a time. So here's the plastic piece, matches the same size, we're gonna replace that. Okay. 
So if you look right here, you have a plastic clip right here, a plastic clip right here, and then you got two black rubber O-rings. So I couldn't get the black rubber O-rings off with just my fingers, so I got this little pick. Um, they're pretty flat and worn. These feel a lot better. Okay, so we'll go ahead and, like I said, just one at a time, pop them on in there. Okay, get this next one off. Coming off real easy with this. Okay, all on there. There's the last plastic piece. Okay, so we got all that stuff on there. Now, the O-ring kit came with this um, compound right here, 111 compound. And uh, so what we'll do now is we'll just open it up and we'll rub it on those areas after drying them off. Okay, reassembly goes just like you took it off. Oh, look, there's another plastic piece down here. I'll put that thing back down here. Okay, nice and snug. Take our piece right here. Let's put some more Teflon tape on there. hand as far as we can. Turn the water back on and we'll test it and see if it works. Here we go. I'm looking down here. And I don't see any leaks. I'm gonna turn it every direction. Just make sure, feel in there, make sure my finger's not getting wet. Everything looks good. No leaks. So as you recall yesterday, we replaced the car cartridge and it didn't stop it from leaking. So we did have to replace those O-rings. And uh, after doing that, we solved the problem. So this is just uh, the first video. Everything breaks and needs to be fixed. So if you uh, like the video I posted today, uh, please like it, subscribe to it. Um, leave uh, a message for me in the comments. Please be polite, it's my first one. And uh, I hope to have uh, plenty more videos coming to you. Thank you.